Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel video tutorials. In this video, I'll be demonstrating the use of box plots, as well as multiple Xbox plots in Sigma Excel. A box plot is a convenient way to visually display the data distribution from their quartiles. It is a graphical view of statistical data based on the minimal excluding outliers, first quartile, median, mean, third quartile, and maximum excluding outliers. The term box plot comes from the fact that the graph looks like a rectangle, with lines extending from the top and bottom. Box plots are used to demonstrate high-level distributions of numeric data values and for comparison between multiple groups. For this video, I'll be using a sample data set in Sigma Excel called Customer Data. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Box Plots. Select Overall Satisfaction and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Select Customer Type and click Group Category X1. Ensure Show Mean and Show Legend are checked. Click OK. A box plot of Customer Satisfaction by Customer Type is generated. The legend indicates that the solid center line is the median. The dashed red line shows the sample mean. The top of the box is the 75th percentile, or Q3. The bottom of the box is the 25th percentile, Q1. The height of the box is called the interquartile range and is a robust measure of spread or sample variability. The data point highlighted for customer type 2 is a potential outlier. Note that extreme outliers are highlighted with a solid dot. Given that the response data comes from a survey with 1 to 5 scale, I'll modify the y-axis to show 1 as the minimum and 5 as the maximum. To do this, simply right-click on the y-axis and select Format Axis. Modify the minimum value and the maximum value. Change horizontal axis crosses, axis value, to 1. Now note that the box plot axis has been modified. Click Recall Sigma Excel dialog menu, or press F3 to recall the last dialog. Select Size of Customer, and click Group Category X2. Uncheck Show Legend. Click OK. Now box plots of customer satisfaction by customer type and size are produced in a row allowing for easy comparison. In order to adjust the y-axis scale for both charts, click Sigma Excel Chart Tools, Set Chart Y-Axis, Max Min. Enter 5 for y-axis maximum and 1 for y-axis minimum. Click OK. Multiple Xbox plots allow you to create box plots with one Y variable and multiple group category Xs. A row of box plots will be created, one for each X-axis variable. This is useful for easy comparison of the effect of each category X. Click the Sheet 1 tab. Click Sigma Excel, Graphical Tools, Multiple Xbox Plots. Select Overall Satisfaction and click Numeric Data Variable Y. Select Customer Type, Size of Customer, Major Complaint, and Product Type and click Group Category Variables X. Ensure Show Legend is left unchecked. Click OK. The box plots showing overall satisfaction by customer type, size of customer, major complaint, and product type are produced in a row, allowing for easy comparison. This concludes the Sigma Excel tutorial video for box plots and multiple Xbox plots. For more videos, visit www.sigmaxcel.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.